Deep in the mountain, Renesco injects a gel into the rock of a newly constructed tunnel. Because of the way tunnels are constructed, cracks and fissures emerge in the rock. If groundwater penetrates excavation-damaged zones and reaches previously dry areas containing anhydrite-bearing rock, swelling can take place with tremendous forces and seriously damage even solid tunnel tubes. These forces can cause elevations up to the surface of the ground, even of deeply lying tunnels. It is essential to prevent the ingress of water into the anhydrite. Injections seal the excavation-damaged zone. Injections are made through approximately 65,000 drill holes. Renesco uses a two-component acrylate gel as injection grout. It is pressed through the drill holes into the fissures of the excavation-damaged zone. The gel hardens after approximately 10 minutes, thereby permanently sealing the fissures. Injections are executed at the border zone to the anhydrite-bearing rock formations. Never before has this acrylate injection technique been used on such a scale. As it's not possible to see the injections in the rock, the 130,000 injections have to be carried out neatly and must be documented exactly. The conventional purely manual way with up to 500 injections per day meant a lot of administration work and low availability of data. To optimize the traditional work processes and make the best use of the collected data, Renesco, together with partners, developed a digital data and documentation management system, especially for grouting works. This interactive system is cloud-based. The planned injections are recorded in the system and checked and processed by the site management. All areas of the construction site are connected to the system and the verified data regarding the planned drill holes are automatically transmitted to the drilling rig. The rig logs the performance data during drilling. With this data, conclusions about the rock hardness can be drawn and transmitted back to the central database. The tunnel areas where the drilling has been completed are allocated for injection by the site management in a defined sequence. After being injected in the rock, the two-component acrylate gel must solidify within a precisely defined time frame. This production process is subject to strictest quality controls. The entire grouting process is exactly documented and samples are archived. The components flow from the mixing system to the injection pumps and the so-called packers are placed and pneumatically tightened in the drill holes. The gel components are mixed together and then immediately injected. Once everything is ready, the pump operator starts the injection process into the rock. The behavior of the gel in the rock cannot be monitored directly, but the progression of the injection pressure and the flow rate allow conclusions about the processes in the rock. The values are constantly checked and transferred to the system cloud. The highly detailed logs of the injections, combined with the data about the drill holes and the gel, are available online all the time. The data stored in the cloud can be analyzed, evaluated and checked by all project participants. Project adjustments are immediately available. Thanks to the always accurate data, the site management has less administration work and can focus more on the actual work using informative illustration and analysis tools. All project stakeholders get customized overviews and visualizations adapted to their needs. Thus, the injections can be geo-referenced and be presented with associated documents and logs. Work progress and quality can be monitored permanently. Simultaneously, the collected data is transmitted to the client's building information model as highly detailed project documentation. With this new management system, Renesco is the first company to illustrate, manage and document complex grouting technology processes in the building information model.